Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Realm. Welcome to Realm with me, Pro. We're back again, guys, with another episode of Dragadian Lost. This time, the Dragadian Lost Princess Connect Redive Crossover Event, A Ferocious Visitor. Alright, guys, let's get into the video. Roll it! So upon loading into the game, you're first going to see a very nice little bonus that we're beginning. So the event is going to be from... Yeah, we got a sticker. Let's unlock our sticker first. Say, hey, yes. <laughs> so our event's going to be going from November 29th, which is right now upon the reset um, for a couple more hours at least, and then to December 13th. Um, we have a 10 days of rewards. As you can see, we have enough there for a full temple, which is very nice. Thank you very much, Side Games. You see here, we have some pretty nice rewards indeed, especially all that stamina. That's going to be awesome. And uh, we have 10 days within those 14 days, the two weeks, that uh, we can claim it. So, two-week event, people. Let's do it. Let's get into this event. So, as we get into the game, we're going to be getting a little intro with Pekka in here saying, Much, much. Hmm. <laughs> this bread is so soft and fluffy. I'm glad the food of this world suits your refined palate. We still have plenty of bread left, so you are welcome to have as much as you'd like. Don't need to ask me twice. Thanks! By the way, Cleo is going to be with a free unit, which is very cool. Watching her wolf down really reminds me of... Who? Hmm? Something smells good! Gimme! My nose says that way. Let's go! Well, speak of the devils. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat a cow. And I'm so hungry, I could eat two cows. That training really works up an appetite. Well, we'd better fix that. Would you like to share the rest of this bread with me? Heck yeah. Wait, who are you? I haven't seen you around. My name's Pekarin. It's nice to meet you. The reason I'm here is they're kind of complicated, but it's just another stop on my journey to get as strong as I can. Seriously? I'm on the same journey. I mean, not literally the same one, but I'm doing the same sort of deal. Which gives me an idea. Let's you and me have an old-fashioned duel to see who's stronger. I've been dying for a chance to sh uh, show off my kung fu to, to, to somebody. I never back down from a challenge, uh, normally, but um... Yes. I'm too hungry to fight right now. <laughs> you ate like 15 loaves of bread. How can you still be hungry? You're hungry? That's terrible. Being hungry makes people sad. You two should give her more food so she isn't sad anymore. Well, I suppose. It would be rude if we permitted a visitor to go hungry. Yeah, it's pretty poor form for a chef to leave someone unsatisfied. Does that mean we can't duel? Boo. Sure we can. We'll just have a bottle to see who can eat the most. A battle to see who can eat the most. You mean an eating contest? Now that sounds like my kind of thing. Then we're on. Don't worry, my stomach has kung fu skills too. Man, I'm all fired up now too. Being able to make lots of food quickly is a really important skill for a chef. You can't be letting your uh, hungry customers sit around waiting for too long. Yes. It should prove a fine test of our particular set of skills as well. Then, let's all go kick some butt. Don't hold back now, you three. Eat till you can't eat any more. You bet. <laughs> They're doing the same pose. It's here. <laughs> Order up, Cleo. Understood. I finished preparing the fish. Please, get them cooked. <laughs> More, please. Of course. Right away. Mm, I can't eat another bite. Me either. More, please. Wow. Well, that concludes the contest portion of the evening. Our winner is Pekarin! 
No! I can't believe I lost! I gotta say though, it's the best feeling as a chef to see you guys loving my food that much. You really can't beat enjoying a meal with other people. There was a time I lived all alone and wasn't able to do this kind of thing. So it makes me really happy to be able to share it with all of you. I'm the last of my tribe, so I know exactly what you mean. I only stopped feeling lonely after I came here. Yeah, and I was traveling around the world, trying to get stronger before I arrived at this here castle. That's how I finally learned how important it is for people to train with. So we've got to have another eating contest sometime, and next time I won't lose. No way, I'm winning next time for sure. Ah, oh, thanks you too. You're on. So, when are we doing this? Tomorrow? I'm actually ready right now if you want. It's nice to see Pecorine making friends. At this rate, she'll be pals with the rest of the holiday in no time. That is, certainly. But if these eating contests keep up, we're going to have to mortgage the castle in order to pay our food bill. Bam, and here is our new summon showcase, everyone. We have Pecorine. Bam, five star light sword character. We have the Forager Mitsuba, who is a uh, katana wind unit. And then we have Lumiere Pandoro, who is the dragon, a light dragon. For the Princess Connect, a redive, a ferocious visitor. This is going to be our crossover event for the year to finish up 2020, everyone. Let's make it a good one. A prize is guaranteed with every summon. Ooh. And there we go. That is our interlude into this event. Let's enjoy everyone. Sit back and relax. We did dig in to this event that's going on for two weeks. Let's do it. All right, everyone, as we get into this video right here, right after you just saw the interlude leading up to this very point, I want to let you know, go check out twitch.tv slash gamerrealm. Link will be in the description as we will be pulling for this banner Friday, the 4th of December. We're going to be going live Friday, 4th of December, with some awesome pulls for both Pickering, the ferocious. Uh, gatherer the dragon as well as going over to Genshin Impact to do summons for Zhongli so go and check us out twitch.tv slash gamer realm over on there Friday 4 o'clock PST all right guys let's get into the actual video where am I is this a dream If you haven't already, by the way, go check out the anime for this. It's pretty good. It's so strange and unfamiliar, and yet it feels so warm. Welcome to my world. Alas, I fear we are under siege from a terrible influence of the creature known as Ufa. Huh? Who are you? I am Lumia, Pandora, and you, my dear, are the Shining Hope who has been chosen to defeat Ufa. Okay, so if any of this is supposed to make any sense, it actually doesn't. Ah. Whoa. What just happened there? Ufa rises. I'm afraid we must cut our communication short. My world is on the other side of this rift. Jump in! Jump in before it collapses! Once you arrived, head west and find the caverns where memories gather. Wow. Please, you have the power! She's gone. Well, that sure was a thing. Weird. Still, she really seems to need help, which means I've got work to do. I'm glad you're ready to help out. You know what that means. Raid event. <laughs> Bing, 
bing, bing. I love all those. That's so cool. The, uh, um, what do they call it? When they go between scenes. It's really cool. I like it. Oh, sorry. Cancel. Sometimes you gotta press the button. <laughs> you know, other times, you don't. Something good's bubbling in the pot. You just wanna grab the lid, but it's too dang hot. Master Chef Aspirin. Mitsuba. I finished preparing the mushrooms and vegetables, Mitsuba. Mother to the Hadadan. Cleo. And the rice is almost done, so let's toss in the butter and make an Alberian pilaf. Lunch with fresh pic pickled ingredients is it? I suppose being a food procurement duty does have its share of perks. What was that sound? A fiend? So hungry. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Well, I've never seen anyone eat rice that fast before. And I live with Ranzel. Wow. Watching something go to town on your chow is what being a chef is all about. Yummy! I tell you, food is really is the source of all life. Your pilaf has snatched me to the cruel jaws of death. Good lady, thank you. Well, I suppose we all are in this together, yeah? But if I may, who are you? Oh jeez, I forgot to introduce myself. You can call me... Dun, 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 dun. Perpetually Peckish Peckerin. People with me. Good to meet you, Peckerin. I am Cleo and this is Miss Metsububa. Cleo and Metsuba. Got it. Hiya! So, what are you doing out here in the wilderness, Peckerin? Oh, I was on my way back to the Landoso after some training in the wilderness and thought I'd come for a bit. But when I woke up, everything had changed. I couldn't find the road again, and looking for it made me super hungry. Which led to your collapsing? Pretty much, yeah. How crazy is that? Anyway, can one of your lovely ladies tell me where in Australia are we right now? <laughs> Sorry, did you mean Grestea? Because we're in the south of that. Also, I've never heard of a place called Landoso before. <laughs> oh, you guys, that's a good one. Wait, you're serious? Oh, oh, then where the heck am I? There's no continent called Australia anywhere in this world, so far as I know. Oh, jeez. Maybe that dream wasn't a dream after all. Uh, maybe you should start from the beginning of what happened to you? I see. So, you jumped through the rift and ended up here? That's pretty much the long and short of it, yeah. This Lumeria and Pandora person welcomed you to her world, correct? If that's the case, it means you've come here from an entirely different world. I don't know, Cleo. Seems like a stretch. We've had some experience with this sort of thing in the past. Also, the fact she is unfamiliar with dragons only leads credence to the theory. Oh, I know all about dragons. They're delicious. You've eaten one? Sure. The tails make it an amazing stew. Oh man, now I'm hungry again. <laughs> okay, you're right. She's definitely from another world. In our world, dragons are creatures that rule over nature and manner. No one here would ever even think of eating one. Huh? Guess I really am in another world. How crazy is that? Okay, well, time to take this seriously. If I can't figure out how to get home, I'm going to be in big trouble. And based on what you said, that the mere Pandora girl should know something. Well, you said you were called to this world to defeat this Ufa. That's threatening us, correct? Yep. Oh, and she also told me to head for caves to the west, where memories gather. A mana fountain, perhaps? Huh? 
they are places where mana accumulates in our world when people die. It's said their souls become mana and travel out over the world. The memories carried by their souls are said to have gathered at mana fountains. Oof! Oh, ooh, that must be it! The only area west of here with a mana found is the Memoria Caves. Okay, that's extremely helpful. I'll go and check it out right away. Hold on now. The caverns are rather, rather far from here, and you're bound to run into a fiend along the way. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm trained warrior. Plus, that girl sounded like she was in serious trouble. I can't just abandon her. <laughs> Your attitude very much reminds me of Proen. Ooh, that's me. Well, if you're that determined to go, we've no choice but to accompany you. You'd do that for me? Of course. We can't just leave you to stumble around in some unfamiliar world. Besides, if there is a crisis brewing, we need to learn about it. Still, this will likely be a perilous journey. We should return to the castle and prepare as best we can. Come, Pecorin, we'll show you the way back to the Haladin. Oh man, you guys are the best! Bring it on! Oh, that's nice. What? Great job on the artwork on that one. So, we're going to be clearing quests, increasing our friendship, and maxing out friendship to team up for good. Forager Khalil will join you in the duration of the event, maximize your friendship, and you can continue to use her even after the event is over. Win battles against... To earn overworldly fragments, use them to challenge the raid bosses, just like any raid event we'll be doing. Clear certain quests, and build up your raid boost, then challenge harder quests. Use the rewards from the event to power up Forager's Cleo. And Forager Cleo's event perks will give you an advantage during event quests for the duration of the event. Nice! I actually really like that they've been doing that recently. Look out for new content later in the event. I believe on the 2nd of December and the 4th of December there will be higher um, tiers of um, quests. And by the way, uh, we got to unlock Cleo temporarily until we can get Maxo out, so that's awesome. Um, also, something to note, the banner, if you want to pull for this, is only live until the 6th, so you have a week to get your pulls in for these characters right above. Alright, let's jump on in, shall we, with a view of the quest. So, a pre-adventure mill. Looks like we're actually going to be doing water. Okay. Very cool. Let's switch on over. I will uh, work on... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. I will work on uh, Cleo Forager and everything throughout this time. I'll be working on it. And then uh, Friday, I will check in with you all with any updates with those increased difficulty quests on the 2nd and the 4th. Hey, the fourth. Perfect. <laughs> and also, we'll be doing the summons as well. So, uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below of this video. What you thought of this event as we go through it. And if you join us over in the realm, in the Gamer Realm, over on Twitch, drop in and say hi. You may have noticed I haven't been doing live feeds and stuff like that as, we, as we're going through these quests. But uh, that's why we're over on Twitch. We hit affiliate on there, and uh, the community is growing. And I love every single one of you, both here on YouTube and over on Twitch. All right, let's continue. Episode one: Fiend Cuisine Feast. A few days after their fateful encounter, Pecorin and company set out for the Haladin, bound with the Memoria Caverns. Monsters, uh, or, or fiends, I guess. That's what you call them, right? No, men clatcher aside, they are in our way. Let us dispatch them all with all speed. No, men clatcher. That's weird. Never heard that before. Interesting that it's um, a fire attribute right now, but we're using a light character. This should be the last one. Ah! And we have a wind unit as well, which is weak against the fire. Yay, we won! And we have a, a light dragon as well. You'd think this event would be dark, but we'll find out. And wouldn't you know it, 
all that fighting's got me starving. Well, now that the things are gone, why don't we dig into our lunch? Yes! Lunch! 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 <laughs> but hang on. How much further is it? It will likely be a few days before we reach the, the Memorial Caverns. Oof, that's a long time. Maybe we should save the food we bought and just forage for things along the way for now. Smart thinking. I wonder if there's anything edible around here. Sure there is. It's right in front of us. You are gonna eat that thing? I mean, it's a bit different from the monsters I've been used to back home, but I'm sure I can walk with it. Stop. You want to eat a fiend? Heck yeah. Back in my world, I used to eat the monsters I defeated all the time. Judging by the I'm gonna hoe look on your faces, I'm assuming that's another thing you guys don't do here. Not usually, no. And while I hear fiendmen or feed meat contains many important nutrients, I just... Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna go second that. Ugh. So, you intend to just let all this lovely meat rot away on the ground? Look, I know it might seem weird, but I promise I can whip these fiends up into a dish that will have you drooling all over the forest floor. Drooling! <laughs> I'm guessing she did it. Come and get it, ladies! Pickering's very own a funky fiend of surprise is ready for your taste buds. Uh, so I don't want to judge or anything, but those squirming tentacle bits there are definitely still alive. Ah! It made a sound and then looked right at me. Okay, sure, it's a bit of an adventure, but I promise it's delicious. Mm. Mm. So good. Come on, you two, dig in. No. Don't be a couple of picky panties now. Once you expand your palace, a whole new world is going to open up to you. I suppose I wouldn't be much of a chef if I didn't at least try. Are you mad, woman? Look, my father was an amazing cook, and I'll never surpass him. If I recall from my strange new foods, so... Huh? Hold on a second. I'm guessing it's good. I hope you don't mind, Beckerin. But I took it upon myself to make a couple of tweaks to the dish. You mind trying it? Yo, holy wow, this is great! The original season was fine and all, but I added some honey to it. Give it a little extra pop. Okay, this is crazy good. The honey melts perfectly with the rest of the dish. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually think fiend meat has a lot of potential. I feel totally inspired right now. If by inspired you mean ill, then yes, I agree. <laughs> As they journey on, Pekurin and Mitsuba continue their culinary adventures. I stewed that last fiend we took down in some miso. What do you think? Chomp. Oh wow, this is amazing! Cleo, you've got to try this! Open wide! Uh, I think I'll enjoy this lovely bounty of nuts I collected instead. Thank you! Come on, Cleo. Oh wow, this is a big one! How should we cook it? Maybe we can make kebabs. I like those, right? You like those, right, Cleo? Pass. We're going to get you on our side, don't you worry. It's amazing how quickly Masuba has embraced fiend cuisine. And while it surely allowed us to save most of our provisions, I simply can't bring myself to eat any of it. I know feed me can be eaten and that it's highly nutritious. Someone even tried giving it to me once when I was ill. But I simply find it to be revolting. Perhaps it's the way it looks, or the fact I can't stop thinking about what my meal used to be. It's a good point. Here, you two. I have more firewood. Thanks, Cleo. Oh, this is yours if you want it. Is this a, a rice ball? Yes, but it's a fiend rice ball. Mitsuba and I made them. A fiend rice ball? Yeah, I figured maybe if it was tentacles and whatnot, they were giving you trouble. Might be easier to eat if you can't actually see what's inside. 
You did this just for me? Yeah, we really just want you to be able to join our little fiend meat party. When you share delicious food with everyone, it only makes it better. I see. Thank you, Pekarin. And with that... Uh, Cleo? Say something. I was just thinking back to when I was stepped out of the miss hole for the first time in 300 years. After so long away from the outside world, everything was unfamiliar and confusing. To be honest, I was afraid. But my friends took my hand and showed me so many new things. In turn, my world became that much more alive. And now, another new color has been added to my existence, thanks to this most delicious rice bowl. Oh, Cleo, bring it in. <laughs> That's cute. I get that story almost made me cry. You get in here too, Miss Suba. Group hug. Not really much of a hugger, so... Sure you are, come on! <laughs> Hugs! You really touchy fairly, uh, Pickering. You can say that again. <laughs> I think today's meal was my favourite so far. It makes me think about sitting around the table with Carl, Kokoro, and you know who? I wonder how the old gourmet guild is doing now, anyway. Good point. Are we going to check in with them? Oh, I thought we were going to check in with them. So, episode two, The Box of Hope. Memora Caverns. This man I found must be that little girl I was talking about. I believe so, but who can say if this Mount Fount is Mana Fount is truly what she meant by a place where memories gather? That came from the caverns. Was it a fiend? Cleo, Pekarin, look over there. It's Pandora. I swear on my life, she should go on further. The fiend is attacking that girl. Let's help her. Ha! Oh, big one. Even though we've been taking him out for so long. <laughs> Two years. Huh, it changed him to a different form. I don't care what form it takes. It's getting a taste of my princess strike. Wow. Impressive. Okay, now it turned into a black mist and disappeared. Are you alright? Oh, you made it! I'm so relieved. That voice. You're the one who spoke to me. Indeed, I am Lumuya. Pandora, the dragon who called you here. My twin sister and I have been separately, separately traveling the world and communicating telepathically. <laughs> My sister sells wicked things in her box of calamity, while I carry happiness in the box of hope. Together, we strive to make the world a better place. But recently, I lost contact with her. And when I did, a creature called Ulfa that should have been sealed away in her box appeared on this continent. Just what is this Ufa thing anyway? A formless monster that came from the gap between this world and another. It usually appears as a black mist, but can take the form of anything it sees. So the fiend we chased off just now was Ufa, yes. Once I learned of the creature's designs, I decided it was best to protect this place. Ufa wants the memories of ruin that have come to rest at the manor fount deep within these caverns. So it can copy them? I assume. Wait, no. What's wrong? Giant fiends have brought calamity to this world countless times. I fear these fiends are what Memories of Ruin refers to. Which means Ufa is planning to absorb those memories and take their shape. It will indeed assume the form most appropriate to destroy a world. Which means we have to protect this mount, mana fount no matter what. Okay. 
but why bring me here to help out? The Box of Hope is a magical device that draws in whatever I ask from the other worlds. And when I asked it to bring someone who values the bonds between people and it chose you, my sister said someone like that would be able to defeat Ufa completely. I understand bonds. Huh. I had intended to only bring you here after I asked you first. If you prefer not to be involved, I can send you back to your world. But if you're willing to help, then please lend me your aid. This is our world's problem, Beckerin. Do not feel that you need to sacrifice yourself in any way over it. Yeah? If you want to head back home, we'll find a way to deal with this mess. Ah, oh, you guys are so sweet. But I've made up my mind. Come here, you little so and so's. Um, Peckerin? Why are you rubbing my head? Ah, <laughs> oh, the more You're trembling. From the first moment you talked to me, I could tell you were a mega tense. I mean, you put on a brave face and all, but deep down, you're worried as heck. Well, yes, I've lost all contact with my sister and Ufa, who she once sealed away, is now running amok. But while I'm worried about my sister, I know I have to be strong for her. Well, that tears it. My friends come home would never let me, for back home would never let me hear the end of it if I abandoned on an earnest like, little thing like you in her hour of need. So until we deal with this Ufa thing, I'll be right by your side. Pickerin? <laughs> Did she just bonk her on the head? There, there, let it all out. In that case, we will also remain with you until the entire affair is dealt with. Yeah. We can't just turn our backs on a world crisis, or a crying dragon. Heck <laughs> yes, with our combined might, Ufa doesn't stand a chance. Ooh, that looked different. A boss battle, flame manticore assault. Alright. Very nice. Again, it's fire. Something actually a little bit different, that they focus characters in a banner and the focus of characters of the event are different to the attribute that we're fighting against. Usually you're using um, the, the, the element that's strong or the, the element that's on the banner is strong against the element we're fighting. This is not the case at this time, which is interesting. Uh, I'm actually intrigued as side games is going to do more of this down the road. But here we go, as the usual tradition of a raid event. We're going to do our regular battles that will eventually unlock an extra battle. And then we have our raid battle itself when we get to join up with our fellow players out there and battle along. But let's get into episode three, shall we? Defending the Manor Fount. At the entrance to the Memorial Caverns, our heroes stand in defense of the Manor Fount within and await Ufa's attack. Draggy, draggy dragon. Drag, drag, dragon. Come on, dragon. What song is that, Peckerin? Oh, just something I made up to celebrate our new awesome friendship. Your pre-battle temperament certainly is something. Oh, you'll never be able to kick butt if you get all stiff and awkward before a fight. Come on, the mayor. Join in! And a one, and a two! Draggy, draggy, dragon! <laughs> Lemur Pandora has really taken a shine to Pekarin. They're practically little sisters now. Nazuna was like that when she was little, always calling me big sis and stuff. I worry that none of you are taking this seriously enough. Although, I suppose being an edge will only wear us out. In that case, I will try to relax by making tea and snacks for everyone. Cleo, you are the... Huh? And those footsteps. I think the tea's gonna have to wait. It's the fiends again! Holy crap! It's an entire horde of fiends! Ufa must have assumed the shape of a fiend leader and gathered a herd. It's gonna try and force its way to the mana spot through sheer numbers. We can't let that happen. Yeah! Mm. 
right behind you, Le Maire. <laughs> They're all doing it. Oh, they're going to need some assistance. Do they have it? They got it? Ooh. This is keep coming. Yeah, these fins are everywhere. I've lost sight of the others. Oh no, they separated them. Curse it all. Whoopsie daisy. You saved me. Not yet, I haven't. Huh? Dang! I just saw a fiend head deeper into the caverns. And if that fiend was the transformed doofer, it means things are about to get nuts. I'm going after it. We're counting on you. As much as I like this music, I wish I could hear the music of this actual game. Side games, if you can get on that, that'd be lovely. In the depths of the memorial caverns. Oh, it took the form of her. This is the Mana Fount, a rep repository of memories and information. Searching memories of ruin, selecting appropriate calamity. Getcha! Hey, not so fast, fake me. Or should I say, oofer. You're transformed into her during that period where we were separated, yeah? You really had us going for there for a bit. But we're done falling for your tricks. The threat confirmed. Dispatch immediately! Oh, He likes taking that form, doesn't he? Ah. It's powerful. Oh, not, not bad! But we won't back down. Yeah, we won't let you trash this world. Ha! I love this little story of these three. It's so cool. Now, Lemur and Cleo. Cleo should be the banner too. Yeah. Not so fast. He won't go down that quick or well, easy. I did it! Pecorin, I did it! Nice going, Lumoire! I'm impressed. Now, how about a hug? <laughs> I know you're excited, Pecorin, but do try to remain calm. Yeah, if you give us a hug while we're all fired up like this, it'll be like putting my bones for a duck press. Uh, you could pet my head again if you like. <laughs> I love a girl who knows what she wants. Come here, you. Pet, pet, pet. <laughs> At any rate, I think we're done here, and I also think we earned a nice big meal to celebrate. Selection confirmed. That does not sound good. What's he going to be doing this time? I will bring ruin and chaos. That is my duty, my calling. Look out! Over is expanding. The caverns are going to collapse. Everyone, run now! They escape it. Oh, it took that form. Nice. That's a good form to pick. Ufa transformed into a giant dragon. The world destroying form that it drew from the memories of ruin. Oh no. We were too late. No. It's not over yet. Everyone, stand back. Try this over world fragment on for size. Of a worldly fragment. Here we go. It's raiding time, people. Uh, is it just me or did a big hole just open up in the sky and suck Ufer in? What the heck did you do, Cleo? I still do through in the space between worlds using an overload of fragment I found while we were fighting the horde. But it is, I fear, only a temporary solution. It will find its way clear of that place soon. Which means we must go into that space between worlds and defeat it ourselves. Sounds good to me, gang. Let's go save the world. 
Let's go save the world, everyone. Here we go. Raid battle, Ufo Clash. I really like this design, it's so cool. Alright. Well, we'd have to do that, actually. It would be water, wouldn't it? There we go. Oh no, it's light. There we go. I'm like, it's only a basic fight. It wouldn't be that hard. Alright, check out the intro. Let's see what this is like. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Ufus. Ward Raid. Beginner. Alright, let's see what's different. Oh, it could be the same. Let's have a look. I actually really enjoyed this fight. It's a good fight. So, if you're going to pick a fight for the boss battle for the raid, do it. Alright, let's see if anything's different. It's kind of the same. Oh, he's down already. <laughs> that was fast. There we have it. Yeah, your usual raid event stuff. Alright, we're on to episode 4. Toying with their memories. I should finish it. Bam. Is that it? Did we do it? No. The creature still draws breath. But do not let your guard down. I think it's do not let you down your guard, but near enough the same. Oh no! It changed back into mist. What's it planning now? Threat level updated. Searching new form information. Selecting, selecting, selecting. Is gonna get something even worse? Something emerging from the mist. Really? It would be the technically the better thing because Uden defeated it. No. What are you doing here, Proen? Obviously, it's not Proen. I had a horde of fiends was trying to force its way into the memory of caverns. But when I got there, I found a rift of the space between worlds and came through. Anyway, I'll take it from here. You guys can all stand down. Right, thanks. Hang on a sec. You came here all the way from the Haladim? Yeah, that's right. My friend, that trip took us days. There's no way news of the Horde could have reached you in that time, and you definitely couldn't make it out here that quick. So, who are you really? Technically, they could use the portals they've unlocked in Chapter 16, but anyway, eliminate. Ha! <laughs> I knew it! Do you mean to say Ufa took the form of Proen? Quite right, it did. Oh. Oh. It's taken... Oh. It's taken form of all of our heroes. Guys, look! It's everyone else from the Hanadom! Is Ufa doing that too? It looks like Ufa can make copies of itself, but still, how does it even know about all our friends? It must have absorbed information about this world from the manor found. We move now. The Ufa folks are attacking. Assault flame! Tyros Gaia! No! A copy of attacks as well as their appearance to some voices. Oh no, that's not good. They're fakes! They're just fakes! Ah! Oh! Big sis? Nazuna? No, you can't have her attack a sister. Hold on, Mitsuba. I'm coming! But she can. <laughs> 
Oh, Korea's like MVP. Claim whatever you form you wish, Ufa. I shall not be deterred. I'm not concerned with formal tradition. What's the most important is that everyone enjoys themselves. That's what you said in my first Dragonil Dragonil to the encourage me. Ooh, he got her. Her one weakness. Me. <laughs> Cleo, Mitsuba. I don't know if they will be able to fight against their friends. Lemoya, take the two of them and get the heck out of here. Are you planning to take them on all by yourself? Don't worry. I trained for this. And I won't let those two get hurt. That's so brave. Now go already. <laughs> Fighting this many enemies in a row is rough. But this is a creature that uses people's most precious memories against them. And I won't back down. Good. We're winning. All together now. I will never lose to the likes of you, Princess Strike! <laughs> it comes from... wow. Terrible. Is it over? No. There must be a bigger form. Herself. Maybe. Ulfa ran, out, ran off deeper into the space between worlds. Looks like we're okay for now. Just say, Lemoya? Can I get a hug? Might have used too much power there. I'm so hungry. Pick her in. All right. Into episode five. The essence of life. In the forest near the Mora Caverns. Sorry, but these are all the medicines I have at the moment. Fiends have been cutting off supplies lines, you see. This is a good start. Thank you. You're staying over at the inn, yeah? I hope that girl with you gets better. Thank you. I fear my healing magic can do no more. Welcome back, Mitsuba. Were you able to procure medicine? Yeah, but they didn't have much. How's our girl doing? I was able to heal her wounds, but she remains unconscious. What happened to her in that fight? I wish I knew, Mitsuba. I've tried everything I can think of, but she draw shows no signs of waking. Perhaps she never will. Please? Bring her hope! What you doing in there? There, Lemura Pandora? She's asking the boss of hope for aid. Likely she wants to bring something from another world that can help Pickerin. That's right! Pickerin helped me, so now I have to return the favor! Aw, oh, that's sweet. Pickerin gave all that she had for us. She's also showed us how delicious fiends can be and helped us relax a little. Yeah. She's in a ton of us. But how do we help her? It's here! It's here! Cleo! It's super! Hmm? What is? The hope from another world! The thing that will save Pickering! Ooh! Whoa! Look at that light! That's pretty. It's the hope that we need. Is this rise? The greens are almost transparent, yet so vibrant. Is this from Pekarin's world? Ah, of course. She mentioned a special kind of rice she used to harvest once. I believe she called it princess rice. Okay, but what exactly are we supposed to do with a bunch of rice, hmm? Oh no, you sound sad. Did I make the wrong wish? Not necessarily. Okay, wait. Didn't Pickering say once say that food is the source of all life? Cleo, I know she's unconscious, but is there any way we, she could eat something? I have been able to provide her water, but I don't think she can chew. Boom! 
Of course. Rice porridge. <laughs> Rice porridge. I think what's happened is that Pekarin has been completely drained of energy. Now that you mention it, she does always get terribly hungry after a battle. So if we restore her lost energy with a nutritious rice porridge, she might recover. Let's add some other ingredients as well to make it as nutritious as possible. Well, we can start by grinding in a bunch of medical herbs. We actually used to do that all the time back in Hinamoto. Of course, we barely have any herbs, but I guess it's start. But we do have plenty of fiends. Oh, great idea! You're going to cook with fiends? <laughs> we had the same reaction at first. But we've come around during this trip. Pecorin gave all of us all sorts of ideas on how to cook and prepare them, so we know exactly what we're doing. It sounds like we're going hunting then. The Mura Pandora, please stay here and watch over Pecorin. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> This would be the best rice porridge Pecorin's ever had. Let's go make some rice porridge! I actually really do like uh, rice pudding. That's what we called it in England, rice pudding. Delicious, actually. Wow. Did you see that requirement, 1,600 for this battle? You could probably raise it a little bit. Just a little bit. But I can't remember what... Um, team rankings and everything you, you start off at. So I suppose they have to make it like low enough for a new player to get into and um, jump into the event. But I'm just saying. That would be a good idea. If they can have it so it like um, how, do, how do I say it? it? It goes up with your level. It scales. That's the word. It scales with the level. That'd be cool. So you can get like resources and all that like, to your level. That'd be nice. Anyway. Episode 6, The Porridge for the Soul. Getting all those herbs. And the fiends, the fiend meat. <laughs> this fiend is rather strong. That means it's healthy and chock full of tasty nutrition or nutrients. Let's take it down. <laughs> Oh, what's taken in so long? Your compatriots are back, miss. Though, I fear they are covered in blood. Blood? No! I'm sorry, I should have been more clear. It is not their blood, rather, it comes from the fiend they slayed and brought here. I do hope they don't stain my floors. So then, they're okay? Seems that way. <laughs> Sorry to barge in on you, but we need the kitchen, stat. No problem, dear. All guests are allowed to cook their own food here. Masuba, you're on rice duty. I'll prep the fiend meat. Cleo, Masuba, you're all right. Oh, we're better than all right. Just look at all this meat. Do you want to help us cook? Of course. The three work diligently in the kitchen until... Ufa. Oh no. Ah! Rice porridge! Yummy! And there we have it. Fiend meat, miso porridge. Packed full of all the medical herbs a girl could need. I can't believe how good it smells. Let us feed it to Pekarin at once. Open wide, Pekarin. Hmm... <laughs> Eating while sleeping, huh? That sounds like our girl, right? Look! It's working! The mana flowing through her body is springing into life. If she keeps eating the porridge, her strength is bound to return. Uh oh. Was that a scream? It came from the town square. We should go and see. The Moya Pandora. Please, keep feeding her the porridge. It's battle time. What is that? What are those? 
Uh oh. A rift to another world. Oh no! Bring destruction and chaos. But first. What could it be? Ufa! Target threat level updated. Selecting optimal form for elimination. Optimal form? Hmm. Form selected. Eliminate targets immediately. Oh dear, things sound dire out there. I do hope everyone's alright. Come on, Pekarin, you need to keep eating so you can wake up. It's over 9,000! <laughs> Whoa, something is delicious. It's like really soft rice. Rice porridge, maybe? But we've also got some meat going on. As well as herbs and a touch of miso. What a combination. The rice reminds me of the kind I used to eat with the gourmet guild. The meat and miso are familiar, too. Where have I had this before? Aha! Wait! This isn't just with meat. It's fiend me, which means it must have been made by, you know it, Mitsuba and Cleo. Yep, that's it. All right, I feel it in every bite. They put so much love into this dish. Guess I'll have to repay the favor, and I know just how to do it. Get out there and let's help them to fight the fiends. Do it, do it now. <laughs> Inconceivable. Attack patterns have diverged from the last battle. According to analysis, humans are an irrational life form controlled by their feelings. Yeah, even now, it has to fight something that looks like my friends. But when we froze up last time, it led it to our other friend getting hurt. So we won't let that happen again. We'll defeat you no matter what. You are going down! Analysis failed. Thought patterns have led to unforeseen actions. Strategy adaptation commencing. Ooh, up in the ante here. I'm just waiting for. Yep, there you go. I was waiting for it to be all the dragons coming forth. It's taken that giant form again. That huge thing is coming right for us. Grrr. It's going to crush us! Not if they have anything to do with it. It's targeting the villagers in order to place us on defensive. Talk about your cowardly moves, but we still can't let up. And we won't. Ha! It's Peckerin! Ah, that attack! Hey, yes! Peckerin, you're awake? That's right. Thanks to your rice porridge, I've made a full recovery. And I'm so touched you'd make something like that for me. I could do anything for a friend. Rah! Whoops! No time to get mushy, I guess. Luma, you help the villagers escape. Right, follow me, everyone. Now then, how do we want to cook up this humongous Ufa? The rift it came out of is right behind it. To limit damage to the village, we should first push it back inside. Sounds like a plan. Here we go! You're in hot water now, beast! Here comes the chef special! I'm going all out! Time to slice and dice! Princess Strike! Ping, 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 ping! Hey. 
Back into the other world. And it's time to go nightmare on this thing. We did it! Into the rift, everyone. It's time to end this madness once and for all. Right, this is our final battle. Here we go. Final battle time. Let's jump in there. Get these done. I think this might be it. Until we get the second, a new quest comes out. And the fourth, another new quest. And a summoning video over on twitch.tv slash GamerRealm. Hope to see you there. 4 o'clock PST. Live. We'll be pulling for this. And then we're jumping over to Genshin Impact. And we'll be pulling on that new banner as well. Here we go. I was like, do we unlock the uh, the extra? Not yet. There's usually a third one. No, oh, only two. Okay, that's cool. Here we go. Expert. It is a. I mean, sorry, I keep clicking it. It's dark. So we're gonna go in there with light. Which is crazy because we just had a light. Um, just had a dark event. And we got another one back to back. Very intriguing. But again, let me know what you think of this event in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you all. And if I see you over on Twitch, let me know you came over from YouTube. I'll just give you a shout out. I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. I'm actually doing this recording on the back of um, a five and a half hour stream we just did <laughs> where we hit um, level 60 in WoW, joined the Covenant, I joined Nightfire by the way with my Warlock, still don't like the decision but we did it <laughs> and um, we just did a, a bunch of domains uh, on Genshin Impact as well so it's a fun stream, go check us out over there as we wrap this up. This video has been recording on uh, the reset of the Sunday when it went live and I'm, and I'm uploading it on Monday. I really have an EX mode now. Yep. I do like this. Side games keep this up with this like this um, design. It looks so cool. Alright, extra raid battle that Ufa Clash EX. Let's do it. Just going through it, just showing you all. Making sure there's no extra like story bits as well. You never know, they may throw it in there. But we're most likely going to get an epilogue, so I'll be back to record that with you all. If it's on a Sunday, we'll go and do it live. But we have two weeks of this event. One week for the banner, two weeks for the event. So get your pulls in. If you want to join us live and pull along with us, 4 o'clock, PST, Friday. Join us, twitch.tv slash Gimmerell. Alright, let's do this. Tack his arms, tack his arms, tack his hands, tack his hands. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Back away, do do do, back away, do do do. And don't forget, worry, I, during the week I will be levering up Cleo and uh, getting her friendship up. Do do, and he's down. Pretty easy, as usual. They're usually easy until you get to the higher um, tiers later on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't forget to also log in daily for those rewards that we uh, mentioned at the beginning of the episode. 